Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop. I'm using CS6 extended version. So we're going to do image manipulation and some uh, enhancements and retouching techniques. Okay, so here is a sample image. So we'll be trying to remove the wrinkles or blemishes of this old couple, which are whose background is on the beach. And then later on, we'll be trying to remove this duck on the water, which have a background of a palace here. And then later, we'll be trying to using a uh, quick selection tool will try to select this couple after uh, removing their uh, wrinkles and then we'll try to move and drag it here so that it will become this way okay and how do we do that let's move on with the photoshop here it is i'm gonna open the files okay this one and this one Okay, here it is. Yes. So maybe first we're gonna try to go here. And then we'll be trying to, if you want to zoom in, we, we use control plus. Okay, so that we could uh, zoom in here. So I'm gonna press control plus. Okay, and then press letter H for hand tool in order for you to move okay and tool so I'm gonna press letter H that's it and then for you to focus the part of your image so here in order for us to remove this we're gonna use the lasso tool here right click and then for control L okay lasso tool is control L so just this and then we're gonna select one at a time first that's it and then uh, control or ship f5 you can use ship f5 or fill okay so make sure content aware is selected okay content aware here on the contents to fill so okay or press enter that's it so some something like magic what happened is the content aware tool is aware of the uh, related pixel on the surrounding okay such that it will replace the image of what is within the uniform uh, pixels in the surrounding this time the waters okay another i'm gonna select this and then shift fiber edit and then fill or oh, make sure content aware okay that's it and last but the list this one we're gonna select using lasso tool and then editor ship f5 so i'm gonna type ship f5 okay for content aware fill and then this one is zoom in obviously you'll be using negative four zoom out okay later zoom in and zoom out zoom in is or plus just like what we did a while ago so going back here i'll just press shift at five and then this dialog box of content aware field will appear make sure you select this and then okay or enter that's it so we're able to remove those ducks and we'll make this one as a background later for those old couple okay control minus and that's it and then control d control minus is zoom out okay and then we're gonna unselect this that is control d that's it control d so that the selection uh, path will be removed okay so what did we use so control d will unselect okay that's it so these are the things that we're using here 
I hope you can follow through. So, we're done here. Okay? So, let's move on here. And what we're gonna do here is Control Plus for zoom in. That's it. So, as you can see, so a while ago, we made use of the lasso tool for removing the dust. So now, we'll be using this, the spot healing brush tool to make some uh, enhancements here by removing the wrinkles, okay, of the old copal so that they will look better, okay? So I'm gonna use this Control J or spot healing brush tool. So we can make use of Control J for using the spot healing brush tool. That is uh, good for removing blemishes. So don't forget to, of course, uh, try to uh, manipulate how how big will be the area that you're going to, yeah, this way, okay? Use. So you see, Control Plus. As you can see, we're trying to remove the blemishes here on the face. Of our subject this one also that's it looking good and looking better okay here so I won't be removing all the details so I just want to show how powerful is this tool spot healing brush tool for removing blemishes that's it assuming you're all done everything set Everything is clear. The wrinkles were removed. So, control minus. That's it. Control minus for uh, zoom out. Okay? So, here it is. Now, we can make use of this one for us to select this and then we move it on the palace background a while ago here. Okay? Go back. Okay. And then... I'm gonna use quick selection tool this one control W so quick selection tool control W for quick selection tool wherein we could easily select uh, the subjects here the, the old couple and remove them from this background okay how do we do that so we're we're all already done for selecting the quick selection tool and then how do you do it so we can uh, okay. yeah, we can uh, increase the size okay for us to easily this way as you can see I'm just dragging the mouse over to our subject that's it and some more here on the hair if you'd want to adjust some more that's it and if you, you want to yes on the eyeglass we can yeah that's it oh sorry i undo it so just a few maybe i'll undo it okay that's it maybe that's enough okay and then control minus so that's how we could easily or quickly select our subject and then we'll be we'll make use of this move tool okay that's it and then we'll drag this one as you can see i'm still clicking it and then we'll go over to our here okay here and then you release okay that's it so you can see this has a greater pixel than the our background so what we need to do is to use control or you can shorten it this way okay you can resize it this way or you can press control t i'm gonna press control t yeah control t is for the transform okay as you can see i'm trying to resize so that it will fit our background okay this way i guess that's enough so what we use is 
control T for the transform or free transform wherein we resize because the image of this is bigger than our back, supposed to be background okay what else do we need of course uh, first so we have two layers now okay I'm gonna press control uh, press enter for a while so that it will select and it will be uh, it will it will take uh, effect that's it so if you select this this is our background on our layers and this one so uh, if you click the eye the background will be removed and then it will go back and if you click this one okay the old purple so we have two layers here okay i'm gonna unlock first the layer of the background that's it i double click i just double click it okay and then what else so what do we need to do if you want to go to lay to the background and make some adjustment on the opacity uh, you can do it this way yeah okay it I want to if you want to do this on the cold all couple okay the opacity okay that's it okay, we're almost done that's the output or you might as well use uh, image adjustments or control you that's it control you for hue and saturation okay wherein you can you can try to make a black and white on the old purple or just the way you want okay okay so i guess this is it okay that's how we did it we're almost done so we made this also control you for the hue and saturation okay so we're done that's it from here we're able to clean using spot healing brush tool those wrinkles and then using quick selection tool we try to select the old couple and then using this tool move tool we're able to drag it and then here okay we made this as our background that's it okay thank you